Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a really big haul. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Veronica. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start with Amazon. I do have notes, so if you see me looking down, that is why. On my list here, I went ahead and got some of these. They're, compress they're copper compression for arch support. When I run, I, I have a lot of pain and I'm trying to find ways to minimize my pain as much as possible so I can continue to work out and, you know, work on my nutrition and health goals that I set for myself. The next thing is I, I know you all have seen these ads. I know you all have seen commercials on the hair finishing cream and I went and I got one. <laughs> it, they're not expensive at all. I, I, I like it. It works. It, and it's just like a little mascara and you know, it comes with a wand and it's clear. And I, you know, I, especially right here, like I used it when I fixed my hair cause I get a lot of hairs that stand up from the new hair growth and it works. I mean, I really, really, really like it. So y'all should check it out. If you've been following me for a while on my channel, then you know that I struggle with anxiety and depression and um i'm from texas and we got hit really bad by the you know the snowstorm and people were without power and everything and that included my family so i unknowingly started biting my nails i get my nails done for that exact reason and what i ended up doing was like because I have my nails done, obviously I can't chew through, you know, the acrylic because they're acrylic overlay. Um, I was, I, I started chewing on my skin and peeling, you know, making myself bleed. I didn't even realize it until my husband, you know, made a comment about it. So he went on Amazon and he found a fidget pad. So remember when fidget spinners were a huge thing and kids were collecting them and adults too well it's not an actual like spinner so it's it's a pad so this is there's like different things there's like a joystick right here and then like a little like when i first saw it i was like oh it's like a gaming pad because that's what it reminds me of and then it has a little thing back here just a whole bunch of like little like things that you could you know when you're anxious that you can mess with and um they you know it has a little thing right here and um there's a click there's some people who like to hear click you know the clicking noise when they have anxiety so it had it you know works for that as well i will leave the link also in case anybody who suffers from anxiety or just maybe even like a little bit of add and you know Ner get nervous just anything that this may help with i mean i'm already in love with this thing i'm still nursing my fingers <laughs> so hopefully i'll start you know seeing better results with this and my anxiety as a whole so i finally got a brush holder well oh, it's a makeup brush organizer the way, I, the way I chose to organize it, what um, brushes over here that I use for my eyes. I this doesn't go through. Brushes over here mm -hmm. for my blush and you know, and then the rest of my face here. This was not expensive at all. You all know I don't buy expensive things on Amazon. So, I mean, there are things that absolutely, but stuff like this, I mean, that there's no point in spending a whole bunch of money. I'm using this as a, another makeup organizer, but this is, is this is more like a um, oh what can you call it? Like something to put like cotton balls or Q-tips, and I'm using it for my liners and 
lip liners, mascara. I, I really like these things. It's definitely helped with organizing my makeup. And the final thing I got in regards to makeup organizing, I finally got a makeup palette organizer. So currently I'm using it for my eyeshadows and this has helped tremendously. I was keeping all my eyeshadows like a storage container with a handle, but it's so old. I was so worried that one day I was gonna pick up my makeup by the handle and everything was just gonna fall out. And I didn't want that to happen. So I'm really glad. Again, was not expensive at all. It's acrylic. All of these are acrylic. So it's, you know, very, it definitely organizes my makeup. The next up are these, sorry, it's a six pack of microfiber bow tie headbands. You can use it for wash when you wash your face. You can use it when you're applying makeup. I'm, I'm not sure if you've watched my previous videos. There's been a few times where I'm using it to put makeup and, you know, to hold my hair back or what have you. I love these things. They're so cute. The one that I got is a six pack and I got the colors pink, tan, white, gray, blue, and like a teal, like the Tiffany's, Tiffany's blue teal. The final thing on my list, I went and I got really curious when I was scrolling through Facebook and it says things you have to have from Amazon, right? One of those, I don't know if you, you all get them on like as an ad, I click on them all the time. One of the options were a an electronic wireless brush cleaner. So the whole idea of this brush cleaner, is dr okay, so it's to clean and dry your brushes in 30 seconds. It comes with these little chambers and then it comes with this connector. It's, it's I already have it on the chamber and it's a little tough to, to take out, but you connect the chamber on this connector and then this connector connects to the electron you know the part of the brush cleaner so they take double uh triple a batteries which they do supply all you do is hit the power button right there so you put the brush into the chamber you push it as far as you can it has a little bowl you're gonna put the water about it's not much water at all, it's about that much. And then you turn it on and then you put it, it spins the brush and then you go up and down, up and down for 20 seconds. And then 10 seconds, you pick up a little bit above the water, still keeping it in the bowl. And then for 10 seconds, you dry. The only thing that I saw was it didn't dry in 10 seconds. So essentially it's not a 30 second thing. However, it is very convenient. It did cut the time of cleaning brushes and it works. It just doesn't do it in 30 seconds. But it does come with different sizes, um, different chamber sizes for like blush brushes or powder brushes. And then it had it comes with the two connectors. It doesn't come with soap or anything like that. So that is something that you would have to supply yourself, but it is awesome. I like it. I suggest it 100%. So that is the end of my Amazon items. I will link everything down below so you all can go check them out. Check them out. I'm not affiliated. This is not sponsored if you have been following me for a while or watching my videos you all know that i was super duper excited because i watch robert welsh here on youtube and he partnered with sigma to do like brush favorites so i ordered them right away because i don't want for them to sell out they're here i have them i've been using them i got them last month i did record this video a few weeks ago but the volume was terrible so here we are essentially his whole um, goal is to put together a set that mimics a whole brush kit so these six brushes can be used in multiple ways you can create an everyday full glamour or editorial looks 
So, um, and I'm reading it off a card that comes. These are the six brushes and the first, well, it's in no particular order, but the F80, which is a flat kabuki. The next one is the E38 diffused crease. The next one is the 4D HD precision brush. The next one is E34 domed utility, and that's just a domed brush, a domed blending brush. The uh, E54 is a medium sweeper. F37 spotlight duster. I'm so happy, I love these. I'm, I'm very happy with my purchase. And the next one is ColourPop. So I originally was going to do a um, one of my review series on ColourPop, but then I changed my mind and decided to do the ND brands. I still got all the eyeshadows that I was gonna do my review series on. So I wanted to be sure and include it in my part of my ColourPop purchase. It was a really big uh, purchase. I didn't have any ColourPop palettes. So that's part of the, you know, the ColourPop is part of the Make It Black campaign. And it came with the eyeshadows if you i did make a get ready with me if you haven't watched it please check it out it has i you know i go into further um detail explaining if you didn't know what make it black is check it out i think you'd like it but it comes in these four or i'm sorry the it's a five pa five pan palette and it is say yes High key, ooh, bold, and oasis. Sorry, I was reading, but it's backwards. Anyway, and then it comes with these super shock shadows, and this color is main attraction. It is like kind of like a, it's kind of like a gold, I would say. Yeah, it's definitely like a bronzy gold, and then the other one is. Millennium, which is more of a pink, <laughs> but it's that color. And then I also got the lip lippy sticks. It came with four, but for whatever reason, I don't know why. I only got three, but um, it comes with this color is this color is like magic which is kind of like a nude. Clearly I used it already. It's like a nude. Um, and then this one, this next one is, I heart this and it is a fuchsia. And then this one is galore and it's a darker like plum. And then lastly, I got the two cream gel liners, the colors are rosette. And that's, this is like a, kind of like a bronzy. And then this one is boots. And this is a pink. The next one that I got is the all that palette. This next one is flutter. And then this next one is Making Mauves. This one is Orn Ornit. This one is That's Taupe. And then this last one is Blue Moon. I, I really love I can't wait to use all of them because they, they when I saw them, I was like, ooh, pretty. I'm especially excited about the Flutter, Flutter by, it, it's butterfly themed. It's, uh, I just love it, love, love, love. So moving on, okay, hope I haven't bored you all yet. Okay, so my final part of this haul is my Ulta haul. This is a huge haul. The way that I put it in the description box, I don't know how to do the timestamps, so I, please forgive me, but the way that I list everything in the description will be how 
I do everything. So if you don't want to hear about a certain part of the Ulta haul, please fast forward. I haven't used these yet, but they are the Ardell Aqua Lashes. I haven't really seen anybody talking about these, but apparently you dip them into water and the glue, the lash glue is water activated and you put them on and, and they work. So I'm gonna try them out. I will let you all know how they work or if they work. I might even do them in a video so you could see for yourselves, but it is a water activated lash band. The first huge thing is going to be Wet n Wild. I didn't, I had noticed that I didn't have any sponges, like blending sponges. So I went ahead and I got a, a sponge. They had this one on sale. It's from their Valentine's line. And I just got this Ulta, um, this part of, or my most recent Ulta um, box. This came in that. So I just got it this past week when everything started arriving from when I ordered it before the storm. So they they had this on discount. I got it because I guess they're trying to get rid of the whole Valentine's. I don't really know. They didn't have much of anything else. So I got that. I needed a new eyeliner. I like um, like liquid eyeliners. And the one that I had been using was, was the roller liner. And it just wasn't doing what I needed anymore. It was like drying out really bad. So I kind of went on a eyeliner craze. And I got this one. It is the Wet n Wild mega liner metallic liquid liner so this is in the color cosmic black this is it's pretty much i don't know if it's gonna catch it but it's supposed it's supposed to have like it's a metallic liquid liner and then this is the the brush and it's an actual brush it's not like that felt tip the next one is a breakup proof waterproof liquid eyeliner this is not a felt tip, so I like that. I don't think it is. I don't feel as though it is. It doesn't feel like the roller liner. I could be wrong, but I got that one. And then I got the breakup proof, waterproof, retractable gel liner. And I got it in black. Next up is Maybelline. Been seeing people try on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram. Um, the Maybelline Sky High, the Lash Sensational. I, so I got these two. I'm wearing it right now. I'm going to show you all some before and after. I don't see a big difference. I felt like they got a little bit clumpy. I, I did two coats. I want to try them again. I want, you know, I want to try it again. And I've done it twice and I felt the same way both times. But I want to give it another try. I've been, the, the first time I did three coats. This time I did two. I, I want to see if there, if, if it's, there's something I can do differently to get the effect that everybody else is so just crazy about. I don't know. I will keep you posted up on that. Next one that I got was the Maybelline Master Prime. It is a blur and pore minimizer. So I, I did try this. I've, I've used it twice now and I like it. Next item on my list are my e.l.f. items. Last month I had gone to Ulta. I never, or I can't say never, but I rarely go to stores. It's mostly Walmart or our local grocery store. That day I just needed to get out. I needed to just, I wanted some retail therapy. So I had gone to Ulta and they were having a whole bunch of, whole bunch of items for sale. It may have been after like the holidays. So they're trying to like clear out the holiday stuff. I'm not too sure. While I was there, I picked up four of these gel eyeshadows. I got them in, so it's four of these, those two and these two these colors this one is disco queen this one is ocean eyes this one is purple rain and this one is pinky swear i like i haven't used them on my eyes i've swatched them um i'm i'm still not i'm still new to the whole and a little uncomfortable to the whole like gel 
eyeshadow gel blush but I will I will I am going to use them because I'm gonna get my money worth because y'all know I don't just go spending on things that I'm not gonna use the next elf item that I got I had seen a video on a, a youtuber that I follow and she tried the holy hydration and she really she really likes it I've been using these already for a few for a few weeks for a month now and I agree a hundred percent the holy hydration line by elf is very it's only ten dollars they're affordable and a little bit goes a long way so the makeup melting cleansing balm it's with hyaluronic acid ceramides and peptides and it comes with like a little scooper i just shoved it back in here but it comes with a little scooper and it kind of looks like when i opened it i was like oh it looks like crisco and you just get a dime size you get it out with the spatula you massage it onto dry skin and you moisten your fingertips and you just continue until you get all the makeup off whether you have makeup on or not but it, it cleans everything so it is a cleansing balm i i really like it and it takes away your well for me for example i use waterproof almost everything because my eyes water so bad for the most part all of my waterproof makeup so i like it the next item that i have been trying is the holy hydration face cream i got the fragrance free this is with hyaluronic acid and peptide complex i really like this the final thing that i've been doing this is twice a day i've been using the illuminating eye cream so again this is twice a day it's affordable it's ten dollars i like it i have seen a difference i i feel like it's a, it's a lot of product for ten dollars and if you don't like it it's not breaking the bank in my opinion the next thing is my pure items the day that i went for my retail therapy ulta had these on sale 40 percent off or something like that this is the pure four in one foundation stick and it is in the color medium and then I got the Disappearing Ink Concealer in the color Porcelain. And this one, you actually, to get the product out, you click it. And then this is the Pure Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Turn it and click it open. And next, a few little items are more like single items. I wanted to try the Makeup Revolution eye brightener i haven't tried it yet but i i did get that i had seen this beautiful post for pico milano i had never heard of it i don't even know how i came across it but i had seen a beautiful picture and i was like i wonder if we carry that i think it's like from italy or i don't i cannot remember but ulta did and they didn't have the color that I was looking for it was a beautiful purple during the holidays so I think it takes them a while to send the newly released stuff where they're from and then it takes them a little few weeks or a month or whatever a few months before we get them here at the U.S. and Ulta you know the Ulta suppliers and so I went ahead and I picked up this one it is in the color Ray of Love and it has like a magnet i'm just totally impressed by it i it's little things y'all and then this is the it's a it's a very pretty red it is so beautiful i haven't even used it i just got it this week this week so oh, it's so gorgeous my last two purchases i when i went for my retail therapy for whatever reason what made me like get down and check there was this one was hidden and if you all saw my first get ready with me the one where i did the very smoky eye i had originally wanted to do a green smoky eye but i didn't have a dark green well i saw this one this one is the armed and gorgeous and it has a very a very like olive color 
and I was like, oh, I'm going to take it. I don't know if somebody was hiding it, but they should have bought it when <laughs> instead of hiding it because it was like hidden in the in the little, you know, where they put where they put the makeup. It, it's so pretty. I haven't used it yet, but hopefully it's not a disappointment because, you know, hit or miss with some of these. And then I went ahead and I picked up the Sweet Oasis by Morphe and it is a 35 pen and I'm sorry this one is a 8 pen I believe 10 pen it's a 10 pen and then this one is a 35 pen so it's a 35s sweet oasis this is what it looks like some I, I've seen a I've seen a um you know a pretty good yes and no's for this palette I like it I think it is beautiful I mean the color story it's not boring i used it today and maybe it's because these are like my types of colors I, I like it i think it's beautiful and i like the way my eyes came out so but that is all today thank you so much for sticking around for this extremely long haul i look forward to the next video it will be the next lunar beauty one the moon spell which i'm excited for thank you so much again if you are new here please hit that subscribe button hit the little bell next to it so you get notified when i post please like subscribe comment I'll leave everything at the bottom, all of my social media. Follow me on Instagram. I now have a Twitter. <laughs> Please look me up there. I did get TikTok, but it's not. I'm not posting there. It's something that I'm just looking at because I have no idea how it works. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. We'll see you soon. Bye.